What if I told you that by the end of this video, you will have an production ready RAG system that can ingest any PDF and any answer questions about it in real time. No more weeks of setup, no more fragile pipelines, just a pure event driven magic. So that's what we are going to learn today. Let's be honest, right? building RAG system sucks. You have got chunking strategies to figure out, uh, vector database to configure, embedding pipelines to debug and don't even get me started on handling failures and scaling. That's what I'm saying here, like there is like complex chunking logic, most developers spend like 2-3 weeks just getting a basic RAG system working. And like that's me before you even think about a production concerns, that is different way. <laughs> like error handling, monitoring or scaling. So what we are building today? Today we are building something different, a production grade RAG agent that combines the best of three worlds. What I mean by that, Docklink for smart chunking, VV8 for vector database, OpenAI embeddings, uh, and then Mosha orchestration. Mosha will act as a event, uh, help us with the event driven architecture. I'm using Docklink for intelligent PDF chunking. VV8 will be like fast vector search, OpenAI for our embeddings, and then all orchestration by Mosha's event driven framework. The result, a system that's not just fast to build, but actually production ready. Without wasting time, I'm going to show you like how the Mosha uh, framework works. Let's talk about the Mosha first, the secret source that makes this all possible. Mosha is an event-driven framework that lets you build complex workflows using simple composable steps. So I'm going to show you simply, uh, we don't have to go to the code here, right? I have just run the npx Mosha dev or npm run dev you can do. Simply you can see the code here. So first I'm going to show you how actually the code looks, how beautiful it is. Like each step is completely isolated, type safe with sort of validation and uh, communicates through events. No more spaghetti code, no more tight coupling, just a clean, testable, scalable architecture. So traditional RAG systems are monolithic uh, stuff, right? One failure brings down everything. So with Mosha, each step is independent. PDF processing fails, your query API still works. Vector database is down, your system gracefully handles it. So why actually Dockling here? So this isn't your basic PDF parser. Dockling uses a hybrid chunking strategies that understand document structure, preserving context while creating optimal chunks for embedding. Let's say like if you see on the basic chunking by other providers, they will just give you the line. Uh, let's say this quick brown fox jumps over that line, right? Then it will uh, divide them into chunks. But Dockling respects paragraphs, sections, tables, uh, images and divides it accordingly. While other systems just split text every thousand characters and hope for the best, Dockling actually understands your documents, it preserves semantic boundaries, handles tables and images and gives you chunks that make sense. Other than that, we are also uh, using VV8. VV8 isn't just a storing vectors. It's got OpenAI's text embedding three small build right in plus GPT-40 for generate queries. So it, when you query data is open source, uh, VV8 uh, finds similar chunks, GPT-40, then it gives the con contextual answers. Like one API call gets you similarity search and intelligent answer uh, generation, no more juggling multiple services, no more complex cloud engineering. VV8 handles the heavy lifting. So without wasting time, uh, let's get started with our workflow. I already run it. First thing, dependencies, right? Notice we have got both Node.js uh, Node and Python dependencies here. That's the beauty of Mosha, right? Like this is Node.js, this is the requirement.txt, both, both is there, right? So our prepare script, which is the like, package.json, automatically sets up Python virtual environment and installs Dockling, no manual environment management. So you just have to hit npm install and done. Everything is done by itself. API keys, so like three things here, OpenAI for uh, embedding and generation, VV8 Cloud for our vector database and that's it. VV8 free tire is perfect for getting started. You get like 50 GB of storage and can handle like millions of vectors, more than enough for your uh, simple projects. Let's dive into the core. Our RAG system has a beautiful event flow. So this API endpoint just kicks off the entire pipeline. It emits an events and returns immediately, no blocking, no timeouts. I can actually show you directly our workbench, which is running, right? So this is read only. The, uh, then there is a read PDFs file. So read PDF step listens for that event as the folder and emits the file leads, leads to the next step. Notice the path normalization logic. This handles edge cases that will break others. So then there is a process PDFs. Here's where Dockling works its magic, Python step, but seamlessly integrated into our TypeScript workflow. Dockling chunks each PDF intelligently, preserving document structure. Then finally, we batch insert into VV8, which is this uh, load VV8 step. So here, notice the error handling, the progress tracking, and the clean separation of the concerns. This is our production ready code. Now, if I want to walk through the entire system of query, the first, I would, I would like to show you the API query RAG. 
uh, like say there is one uh, it is like entire one end point like entire retrieval and contextual generation one we had called che gets a similarity search and gpt4 generation the results include both the generated answer and the source chunks with page numbers perfect for entire citation and stuff like so yeah look at that Moshia uh, workbench which has everything inside we have already run so let's do some testing so you don't have to actually go to the terminal and do the commands or do, uh, don't have to go to the postman to hit that uh, request right you can directly go to the API endpoint of uh, I just want to process some PDFs so it is already added in my docs folder so I'll just hit this command and you will see beautifully every uh, PDFs is processed it will take some time because it is like a lot of uh, PDFs uh, data is there so and you can actually see this in the logs so it is processing the pdf file right and uh, so it also noticed uh, with init vivet like uh, our collection books already exist and i can actually show you where it is so this is my cluster inside the collection see books is already there right yeah it is still running because it is a lot of data and you can see uh, Docling is analyzing document structure, creating intelligent chunks, and Vivid is embedding them in real time. This is like a 50 page research paper being processed in under 30 seconds, kind of a thing. See, 35 chunks from PDF, which is quite a large, and it is actually loading into Vivid. Uh, and like once that is done, the moment of truth, right? We can just uh, do the AI query and understand, like, uh, uh, let's, let's ask the questions and see how it works. So everything is done, right? So I will just go and query the data. I want to see like what are the main findings of this research. I will just limit it to three for now. Let's go ahead and play. So it is processing RH query. Yeah, and it says completed. So very fast, right? I can actually see this data in JSON. Everything is there. But we can also view it on the Viviate cloud. So 54 objects, details. So it was quite fast because I have already chunked the data. Uh, but yeah, you can see entire thing is available here. And new five, five, uh, five responses are added here. Previously, it was just a six. So we did everything live. You can actually search like different, different things now because we have already processed the data. So we can just go and hit the API query and ask like uh, what are the methodologies was used and something. It will again hit that uh, API query. I can actually talk to entire PDFs without having to worry about anything. It will just answer me everything. Everything is there, like tracing, logging, states. You can also see the chunks uh, very easily. What are the chunks? Very beautiful JSON data. You can actually see this in a terminal and something, but you can also find it in directly in the workbench. The workbench stores everything. Step has like prep, proper error handling. Fail chunks don't break the pipeline because VVAT connection issues are handled very gracefully. This code is ready for real users and uh, like if you want to scale, most your steps can run distributed. Want custom chunking, swap out the docking step, want a different vector base, replace the favorite step. You don't have to worry. This event driven architecture make everything modular. It is available on GitHub. Finally go there, try it out and very beautiful workflow. If you have any doubts, just comment down. And if you like this video till now, definitely give it a star on Moshia's framework and definitely check out Viviet and Dockling amazing projects. Thank you.